Harriet Jacobs wrote many different papers during the time of her abolition of the slave trade activist movement. Between 1842 and 1852, Harriet Jacobs became socially active with the anti-slavery feminists Amy Post and Mary Willis, who encouraged Jacobs to write her life story. Soon following the Willis family, who brought, bought and freed Harriet Jacobs, she wrote Fugitive Slave in the North about her constantly being chased on the streets of Manhattan and Brooklyn, also about her work alongside her brother and Frederick Douglass. Around 1852 to 1862, Harriet jo Jacobs wrote Freed Woman and Author in the North and focused on getting her book published in America and England. Also, she tried to get Harriet Beecher Stowe to help her write her account. Her first two attempts to publish the book fell through and finally in 1861 was picked up by a Boston printer. The book contained a preface written by Lydia Maria Child an abolitionist writer. She said, I have very little occasion to alter the language, which is wonderfully good. Through the war years, 1862 to 1868, Jacob wrote Relief Worker in the South. This was during the Civil War and Reconstruction. In this writing, Jacob notates how she made herself a link between Northern philanthropists and Southern free people collecting relief supplies in New York, Pennsylvania, and Massachusetts, and then dispensing them among the black refugees in the South. Harriet Jacobs worked with black refugees, organized schools, and primary health care facilities. She also reported on the progress with black troops and activist Northern Papers. Retreat North was another paper that Jacobs wrote between 1868 to 1877 about her life in Massachusetts. She made trips to England to fund orphanages and elderly homes for black Savannah. During this time, there was a KKK terror when Jacobs retreated north where she helped Louisa campaign for an equal rights amendment in New York State. Before Jacobs' death in 1897, she wrote Endings about her years in Washington, D.C where she ran two boarding houses, the earlier catering to whites and the later to blacks. Jacobs was actively involved in organizing meetings of the National Association of Colored Women. Harriet Jacobs is buried in Mount Auburn Cemetery, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Harriet said in a writing to Amy Post, October 1860, it must be the slave's own story, which it truly is. Harriet wrote this during a time in her life when slavery was still very real, as if it could still capture her. It must have taken great courage to write the truth about such painful memories. We today look on her courage and reflect upon the strength that helped change our nation for the good of all mankind.